Hey guys, Nick here, Nightlife Kennel. Hope you all are doing well today. Just uh, Saturday, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know if y'all can see. It's got the pups out. There's little Nicks. And a little tough man. So, just getting them out and taking them for a little bit of a walk. Had to do a little bit of work this morning and want to let them out and let them stretch their legs. I haven't given you guys an update on these dogs in a while. So I just want to let you see them. They're growing up. Yeah, so recently, um, they started making changes. Nix is getting a little more long-legged, skinnier. You can tell she's a female. Tough's more beefy, muscular built. Um, also, in their voice, I can tell the difference. Nick's still squealy. They've both been squealy for a while, but Tough recently started um, getting more raspy and male sounded in his voice of course they both still sound like pups but you start to tell a little bit of difference in them um, they're doing real good they're both healthy they've had all their boosters been keeping them war warmed um also recently we made us well i say recently it's been about uh eight or ten months ago started feeding value packed dog food um been giving it to high and jug they've been doing real well on it so I started them off on value pack themselves, Nick's and Tough. They're doing real great. Value pack is now a sponsor of my channel. So they're taking good care of us. They make some great dog food made in America. Um, it's all meat based, just some great dog food. So I'm gonna be bringing you a little bit of review on that later on. Um, but that's what the pups are on. You can see they're doing great. Out here running around in the woods. Hey, come here, Nix. Nix. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Tough. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, old tough man. Old Nix girl. Yeah. You got me. Crazy pups. Hey, right here. Come on. Good boy. Good girl. Hey, something got your butt. Something get your butt. All right. <laughs> Have fun with the puppies. Yeah, I'm just out here walking around. Give them a little bit of exercise. I'm going to give you guys an update. They're doing great. Uh, kennel motors are improved quite a bit. I get a little bit of barking when it's feeding time or if I'm up there messing around with the dog a lot. But uh, started using the Sport Dog 3225 on them. That's our no bark or our shocking system. Uh, started using that on them. I tell them to hush, give them a little stimulation. It shuts them up for a pretty good while. They're starting to take a hold of that. Also, the uh, you may have seen the review on my channel of the Sport Dog um, SCBR, the new no bark rechargeable unit from Sport Dog. I put that on a few times too. It's working really well. That's uh, when I'm going to be away from home for a while. Um, so that's working on them. So their kennel manners come along really well. And when it comes to the feeding, I mean, I've got to a point now where I just walk up to them with the feet open the gate. They dive in their house, turn around, stick their head out, and wait for me to put the food down. So they've took that super well. They're about as good as Hyde is on that. So they're not knocking food out of my bowl, out of the bowls. I'm pouring it in, getting along really good. Tough had to work on his kennel manners, uh, no, food bowl manners. Um, got him broke from that. He's not aggressive over his food at all anymore. So uh, they're doing great. What do you say, Tough? Hey, Tito. Hey, Tito. <laughs> Did you see how big he is? Wish I could get a shot of both of them together. See Tuffer on the left. She's on the right. He's just a lot wider and beefier. Real blocky. You see Nick's there. She's... She's just a lot skinnier, longer legged. She's still healthy, but you can tell she's a female. Got my old Dodge over here, resting up. That's been my old coon hunt rig for many, many, many years. She's 
got about 270,000 miles on it. What do you say, Tough? What do you say? I got to be honest with you guys. I named him Tough. And the name, hopefully, he'll grow into it here recently. He's, uh, she's more tough than him. She seems to want to jump off of stuff before he will. Um, with a tent, with a coon hide, he seems a little apprehensive to play with it. She dives right in to play with it. Um, maybe he gets a little older. They'll, uh, he'll toughen up a bit, but I don't know. Love my pups. Like I said, these dogs are very, very distantly related, so if they make something later on, I might actually end up breeding them together. Quit. Quit. Biting at my britches. Nick, where you going? Come here. Yada boy, yada girl, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all tuning in to my channel. Um, I've got a couple new reviews coming up. Like I said, Value Pack Dog Food is a new sponsor of ours. Um, that's all I've been using. I've been using them for about 10 months now. But I wanted to make sure I used it plenty and got you guys a real good review on it. And knew that it was a product that was really good for you guys if you were interested. Because I do not like to push anything that I do not use myself or would not use myself. So, uh, thank you to Value Pack for supporting my channel. They're a brand new sponsor of ours. I'm going to tell you a little bit about their dog food in a later video. And also another sponsor we have, uh, Josh Lambert from Hound Dog Gear, Hound D-A-W-G Gear. He makes hats, uh, t-shirts, and apparel for hound dog hunters. And I think he sells a lot of hunting supplies too. He's a brand new sponsor of my channel. He sent me some hats and a lead and some stickers and stuff the other day. He's got some awesome designs and all his stuff. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do your review video on some of that and show you that later on too but uh, just want to give you a little update on my dogs while i was out here walking them i appreciate y'all tuning into my channel be sure to like subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends and in the meantime tree one for me